So today we're going to talk about the uh, Java synchronization and deadlocks. All right. So, um, so what is Java synchronization? All right. So basically, it's a way for you to get a uh, mutually exclusive lock on a resource. And the way that you do the synchronization is by using the the synchronized keyword. All right. So you so then uh, in Java normally you would say synchronize right followed by right so you would you would do um you would do synchronize right followed by this uh this object right so this basically is the, the object that you're gonna lock right and then from there you know you do whatever whatever um code that you, you put in between this uh, block and that um, piece of code is considered atomic. Um, atomic meaning that uh, from another thread's perspective, that that operation is considered as one unit and cannot be broken into uh, other uh, into more finer uh, units of execution. Right. So. Um, in 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 Java, you can um, s besides synchronizing um, the um, the uh, object, you can also add the synchronized keyword to a um, a method, right? So in this case, if I add it to a regular method, it's called the instance method. This the synchronize right here, right? It's going to be the same as the sync. It's going to be the same as the synchronize right here, right? Without adding the synchronize here. Right, so basically, what the uh, adding the synchronize here, the synchronize keyword to the uh, method signature, is basically synchronizing on um, a, a a a a object which is the class itself. Right, so this is this right here. Right, so these two methods are the same. Right, right, so. Again, we can do the same thing on a static method, right? But if you synchronize on a uh, static method, you are actually locking um, the class itself, right? The in this case, my class name is going to be uh, Hello World, so that's why it's it's going to lock the um, the the Hello World that class, right? So implicitly, this is what what this guy is doing right here, right? It's basically locking this um, class right here right right so that's what the synchronize with the when you synchronize a static method that's what it will do All right so let's talk about deadlocks then right because the the reason why we're having discussion is to talk about deadlocks and how synchronize can lead to deadlocks right so in order for us to to uh, discuss deadlocks we have to understand what a de deadlock is Right, so in this case, uh, when we talk about deadlocks, right, um, it has to involve at least two threads, right. So here, there has to be at least two threads, right. So if you have one thread, you cannot have a deadlock with just one thread, right. Um, so deadlocks only happen in a multi-threaded system, right, and those threads are pretty much blocked, right. Block meaning that they cannot um, they're waiting for something, right? And normally they're waiting for um, to gain access to a lock of an object, right? So therefore, once it's blocked, it cannot continue. So therefore, it cannot successfully complete its mission, right? Whatever whatever it's supposed to do, it cannot complete, right? Due to the fact that um, the thread is is because you no, know, because each thread holds an exclusive lock to a resource required by the other thread right so therefore each one has a dependency on the other one and and since each one is waiting for the other one to release the lock to the to its resource to the shared resource um, and since that will not happen that's why it we call this a deadlock right because basically those two threads will wait forever and it will never complete Right, so here let me demonstrate 
um, how to create a deadlock. All right, so let me go into my Eclipse. All right, so here, right, um, I created a, a very simple program that would um, basically go into a deadlock. All right, so what I have is I have a main. All right, so I have this main that calls this uh, this uh, do task one, and this do task one has a uh, a synchronize in its method right here. Right. Right, so this this synchronize is basically acting as a lock. So basically, it's going to lock, um, basically the deadlock one that class, right? So this, and then this um, do task one, it calls do task two, right? And again, this do task two also has a synchronize, right? So so then since um, this synchronize is part of the uh, static method. That means they're both locking the same object, which is the class that lock one. Okay, so but again, in order to have a deadlock, it must involve more than one thread. So um, the other thread is is going to be here, this one, this uh, swing utilities, right? So what this swing utilities does is basically it will it will basically add a runnable to the uh, swing thread, and the swing thread itself is a thread, uh, is a thread that would you know that pretty much handles the GUI uh, repainting and updating, right? So in this case, we didn't really do any, uh, we didn't do any um, GUI GUI modifications, but instead we asked that this this swing thread call this uh, task do task two. Right, which again, when we call this, it will basically try to try to get a lock from the class. And if we, well, let me show you what happens when I run it. All right, so the printout here it says um, right here in in do task one, right, and then it says then calling uh, do task two. And that's it. It never, it never finish, right? So um, to show you that it's deadlock, right? If I were to remove this uh, synchronize here, right? You can. It basically does what we wanted to do, right? So um, you know, it basically goes into t do task one and then calls, and goes to do task two and then comes out and then it finish. Right, so, so what happened, right? All right, so if we look at the if we look at the um, debugger, right? Okay, so here, um, this program is stuck, right? So now, if I if I pause my uh, JVM, we can see what is happening. All right, so here I have my uh, debugger. So now, if I pause the JVM, right, you will you can see that um, there is a uh, this is going to be the swing thread, the event event queue thread, right? And here it's it's going to call do task two, right? It's, it's it's calling here, but it's waiting for a lock, right? And in the main thread. Right, it's calling this uh, swing invoke here, right? And and it it has a lock. It owns this lock right here, right? Which is weighted by this event dispatch thread, right? So in this case, um, this is going to be. So basically, this is basically where each thread is at its current execution state. Right, so the main thread owns a lock, and it's, that is that is going to is basically waiting for by this uh, event event queue, right? And then the uh, the event queue thread is also waiting for a uh, this waiting for this lock, 
right? And in 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 both cases, it cannot proceed, right? So, and the reason being that that is because in this in this um in this uh in this do task one, we basically ask that this 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 uh, string utility um to call or well, basically we, we call this invoke and wait method basically we're asking for the string thread to execute something and wait for that return right so basically in this case this is blocking um and waiting for that thread to succeed but it would never succeed because it can't get the lock right and that's how we get into a deadlock now one way that we can solve this is to not have the swing utilities um, wait right so we can do uh, invoke later and this basically um, will execute this piece of code asynchronously right this piece of code right here asynchronously so therefore it doesn't have to block right and if I if I do do that right it does finish right but you can see that um, it doesn't do it in the order that I wanted to do it right I, w I was gonna so in this case you know the 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 task one finish and then task two finish right the reason being that you know task two cannot com cannot really do anything until the lock is obtained right and that's only can only be done after task one has been completed right so that uh, so that's basically the sequence right so let's see okay